testing one, two. Good afternoon. And I believe it's uh, Wednesday, day of the week, um, May 22nd, um, year 2013, approximately 3.35 in the p.m. hour, out here in Somok, Hungary, at the My School Dance Studio. Well, in commemoration and dedication to the Bonilla family reunion coming up in June 15th, as one of the elders in the family, as the cousins go, I would like to dedicate this to all our ancestors and elders and family loved ones who passed on and are up above in the heavens looking down at us. And before I continue, I would like to open up with a quick prayer. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning and giving us another day. And we ask you to protect us, guide us, and direct us throughout our day. And Nay Bonilla, I would like to say a big shout out and much love and blessings to you in putting together this family reunion coming up June 15. On my behalf of doing this is that I'm not going to be able to be there. I have plans of getting into visiting home some later part of the summer. And at that time, I will contact you. So, Consuela Bonilla, which is our mother, living up in the heavens these days, and also my father, had five children. Myrna, being the oldest, born in La Ceiba, Honduras. Um, great dancer, true fashion trendsetter. Uh, great moms, a mom of five boys. Um, I believe out of the Bonilla family, uncles and aunts, we were the first one who migrated into the United States, and that was New York City. And me being one of the elders of the family members as cousins and males, um, first one born in New York, actually in Harlem, and uh, grew up, me and Myrna at the time, lived and shared the apartment over on 112th Street and Lenox Avenue, two blocks away from Central Park. My younger brother, Nick Jr., as you know, Lynette, the second youngest, and Theodora, the youngest, all three of them were born in the Bronx. Um, as we all know, the story, as far as one of the first ones to pass on in a dramatizing way, was um, our mother, Consuelo. And uh, her and my uncle, Sessa, were very close and a lot of my dancing inspiration comes from back from my mother obviously being the first teacher and my uncle Sessa with her being great dance partners just as me and Myrna were. Uh, my first imp inspiration to dance was our grandfather. Um, uh, Grandpa was a great person, a great man, a great musician. The first person I saw playing accordion was him and also he played a six string guitar, he played the violin. He was multiple talented, great dancer, great singer. I'm starting to wonder when he was working on the ships, was he an uh, all time around performer? Um, as you know, my father was a merchant marine master chef, which is one of the great qualities, I guess all of us in our family were great cooks. Uh, so let me start out with the aunts first. Auntie Chola came in later on to the States. She has the one son, which is our cousin's name, Alejandro. I guess he's got about four or five children, or maybe more. Um, he's still up in New York City, living in the Bronx, graphic arts background. Um, Auntie Dina, she never had no kids. She's dealing with a little bit of elements that she's dealing with. Um, then Auntie Kika, she had two boys. Francisco, the younger one, the older one, I forgot his name, but I used to hang out and see him sometimes when I went to visit Lynette, because they lived in the same area uptown and Broadway, like 225th Street up there, that part of the Bronx. Um, and then Auntie Shomi had the, all the ladies, you know, Jackie, Nancy, I forgot the other sister's name. Um, and then also her husband, a great musician. So uh, cousin Nancy and I, we lived close to each other up in the uh, northwest part of the Bronx, up there by Kingsbridge Road, in the college area. So we came across each other in the past years back up in that area. Um, I would also like to include the fact that, um, you know, family history to the youth, especially the younger cousins, you know, always be watchful of your intake on um, 
sugar because we have a family history of diabetes. Uh, this is just the health part of the family. Also, grandma was the first person that I ever saw in my whole life who was diagnosed with cancer and eventually the cancer did take her life also with the case from our uh, sister Myrna. Um, so, you know, watch your intake of what you do with food and health-wise on dealing with stress. And then the other one, obviously, we have the high blood pressure. So certain things I did in my early on life, the hood style when I was younger, I changed different eating habits and so forth. Um, and this kind of helped me as I got older. Um, being, like I said, one of the elder ones, I'm 55, getting ready to be 56. And Myrna this year would have been 60. So I'm more than sure Myrna is definitely the eldest of all cousins. And I'm probably second or third there with um, Letty that comes from uh, Uncle Carlos' side of the family. And let me talk about the uncles now. Uncle Carlos, you know, uh, I remember Letty. We spent uh, quite a few times uh, growing up, younger days. Sandra, I remember Judy, uh, Beto, and so forth and so on. Uh, um, we spent a lot of time growing up, coming up when we was younger. And then we have Uncle Tavo, obviously Nay, putting this together, blessings on that. Uh, 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 Jenny, I believe, is the other cousin, Tito, and somebody else there, the one, the other female that came with her name. Um, I would have to give a big hello and shout out to my Uncle Sessa and Ophelia. Um, these two individuals were really close with me when I got up and, you know, coming up as a teenager. I spent a lot of time and weekends with Uncle Sessa on his, at his place. Actually, he's the first one that took me to the circus. My Aunt Ophelia, she's the one that I chaperone a lot and was showing me how to shop for clothes all the way out in Brooklyn, Abraham, and Strauss. Um, and I'm really thankful for our mother for showing us our roots of the Yoruba faith um, and continue to follow that, even though we was brought up as a Catholic. Um, and with that history going into where, um, you know, the Reyes part of the family, I know a little bit more history of that. That comes from the Castilla part of Spain. And actually, um, uh, the Reyes translates to kings and this noble Spanish family were the ones who bought the slave business from the English and migrated and all these other slaves from Nigeria, Africa. And the Yoruba faith comes from there. So my first um, introduction to it was from our mother. Uh, my birthday is December 5th and they have one of the Orishas, um, which is considered one of the most powerful bear ones. Um, and his colors is red and white, which I had on earlier on one of the dance segments. His name is Sean Ho, and um, they used to have like a drum session, actually called Lil Bembe at the house before my birthday, and I really didn't understand it at the time, but as I got older and reconnected through the dancing world with Myrna and our faith again, and I still today practice it. Um, so um, one of the things that's part of uh, us as far as being a people from the Latin American countries, from our slavery ancestors from West Africa, uh, so I touched a couple of areas. I did a couple of dance segments. I'm going to update this and download it into the YouTube as soon as I get back to my flat. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I wish each and every one of you guys a uh, loving, enjoyable, peaceful, great time with the family reunion on the June 15th. And I just want to say to each and every one of you guys, cousins and uncles and aunts, got much uh, love and blessings to you guys. And I hope to connect with you all when I get in sometime in August. Um, so other than that, I catch you guys on the Facebook. Uh, much love to everybody. Enjoy yourself. Again, Uncle Carlos, I mean, actually, Uncle Cess, I meant to say. And Ophelia, got much love for each of your guys for sharing a lot of stuff for me as a youngster coming up that I still use today as an adult. And just sharing some wisdom and love to the younger generations in the family that you get enlightening with your family history as far as health-wise and also spiritually-wise. Uh, with that, I'd just like to say, you know, God bless us to all. Much love and light to all. And enjoy that day of the family reunion with much love. And when you do that dance, always keep in mind that it sets the spirit free and the soul free. With that, peace, blessings, and God bless. Oscar. My love. Okay.
Thank you very much.